Okay, guys. Uh, I just wanted to uh show everybody all three of my stages of the millworm life cycle. I just took everything out of here, but uh, I just picked out some of the pupated. If that even sounds right, but yeah, the pu the millworms that pupated. I, uh, a couple of them uh, I picked out of here, the ones that I could find. I'm not really sure how much is in here, but I think there's like a thousand or something. There's a couple of dead ones that I got to pick out. Uh, here's the, some of the pupated ones. There's a couple of dead ones, a couple of new ones, and a couple of old ones. And... Here's two beetles. I mean, they just turned into beetles a couple of days ago, so they're not really at tip top shape right now. I mean, they're moving and everything. I had three, but one died. It had a couple missing legs, I guess, from the shedding. Hopefully, these guys don't die though. Because I need to start this cycle because I'm trying to get some more reptiles and I'm not trying to buy any more millworms. And next week I'll be having, I will have a new video of my, these piranhas that I'm grabbing. I never really, I mean I had fish before but. I don't really like fish, but piranhas are kind of cool, so we'll see how it goes. But here's the millworm stage, pupae stage, and then the beetle stage. I got them in that small container because they're not really moving that much, so I'm going to wait until they are actual beetles and like moving around. And then I'm gonna put them, take them out of that container. But, okay, that's all I wanted to show for now. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube page. And, yeah, give me some suggestions too on what I should do. And I'm actually about to put some new food in here too. I just picked out the old food. Because they said to take it out because it'll start molding and it's bad for your uh, reptile. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And, yeah.